every mum knows the face of their kid when they're about to do a poo and that's the face that you need to grab them and pop them on the potty. Well done, oh my gosh! Also secretly kind of hoping that his first word will be potty. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a little video about our early potty training journey with Abe. And when I say early, I guess I mean we started training him when he was about eight months, as soon as he could sit up basically. I didn't do this with either of my other two and it was something that came to me very I guess naturally and instinctively and um, yeah I just thought I'd share. Obviously this comes with a big disclaimer because I don't know how successful this will be. He may well end up potty training at exactly the same age as the other two did um, and not early at all but so far I've really enjoyed the journey and kind of getting to this place with him. So yeah I will report back and anything I'm sharing today is just me giving it a go so let's see. It came about because Abe was sitting up but nowhere near or showing no interest in crawling. So one day I just thought, oh, I'll just pop him on the potty and see what happens. And I put him on the potty and soon enough, he just did a wee and then he did a poo. So I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. Then I was realizing I was having to wash less dirty nappies, which is always a good thing. We came to it, I guess, as well, because during lockdown, we were all at home a lot more um, and it just felt really simple to pop him on the potty. So then we started exploring it and he was spending a lot of time nappy free, which was also a really good thing for him and good for his bottom. Another thing, I'm just really enjoying being there with him in those moments of him being on the potty. I'm somebody who isn't necessarily great at playing with their kids and I leave them to be independent and on their own quite a lot. So for me, I'm actually really enjoying sitting there with him um, whilst he's on the potty because it's quite rare that I'm actually down on the floor with the kids and I've so enjoyed getting to know his signals. But yeah, more about that later. I know there are methods like elimination communication, um, but at this stage that isn't something I want to do. I feel like that's a big commitment and with my work and with the two other kids, I just don't feel like I have headspace to do that. So I wanted to talk about this early potty training thing as something that's made me more accessible for other people as well. I feel like it's somewhere in between. I suppose I just had and still have this attitude of it's just a trial, it doesn't matter, anything that goes in the potty at this stage is a success, so how do I try and do it? So the first thing to say, and this isn't a word I use very often, but routine. I have a little routine of putting Abe on the potty, so when I say routine it's very very basic. First thing in the morning, as soon as I take his nappy off, I put him on the potty. And as soon as he's finished a nap, I put him on the potty. And by and large, he does a wee, first thing in the morning and after his nap. Now I think he's getting used to that rhythm and it just seems to work. So a tiny bit of rhythm on routine I think is really helpful. The next thing is signals. So this is probably the most important thing. I watch out for Abe's every single signal. So once I know that I already put him on the potty first thing in the morning and after a nap, it's the signals that I basically totally rely on. I have gone through phases of being like down on the floor with him, watching his every move for like half an hour, but I realize it's just not gonna work. So instead, I keep a close eye on him, um, but I'm also listening. I'm listening for like little groans and moans, and I'm watching his facial expressions so close because every mum knows the face of their kid when they're about to do a poo and that's the face that you need to grab them and pop them on the potty. So yeah, all about watching and observing the signals and really getting to know your baby's moves. And always keep your potty somewhere accessible because I've had quite a few dashes to grab the potty to get it in time. The third thing I'd say is association. Whenever Abe is on the potty, I always do this thing, maybe it's kind of weird, I just knock on the potty and say potty and just try and get him used to that word and soon what I'm also going to start to do is always put the potty in one place so that he associates that place with the potty and goes there when he needs it once he can start to walk. So yeah I think association is really strong and I'm also secretly kind of hoping that his first word will be potty because of course everyone knows when it comes to actual proper potty training later on it's all about communication and verbal communication. Some mums want mama to be the first word their babies say. I just want them to say potty. Next thing I say is that when there is a success, and as I already said before, like anything is a success, a little congratulations I think goes a long way, but, and I think this is even more important, not like, well done, oh my gosh, not like 
freaking them out that it becomes this big thing. I always make it known that I'm pleased when he's done something in the potty and I also show him so that he kind of sees what he's producing and creating. The fifth thing to say, um, and I get a lot of questions about this, is that obviously when Abe wasn't crawling, this is how it all began, it was super simple because he'd just sit there on the potty really happy. Um, now he's crawling, so it is a challenge to get him to stay on the potty. This is where distraction comes massively into it. Apples are amazing because it takes him ages to eat and he forgets that he's on the potty and he'll just sit there holding his apple eating. Otherwise I will put toys in front of him to try and distract him and get him to interact with those. Sometimes if the boys are watching TV at the end of the day, which they do, then that's a good time for Abe to sit on the potty because he'll just sit on the potty and watch the TV. But yeah, of course a lot of the time he does crawl off it. Which leads me on to my last point which is don't make it into a chore because once it becomes a chore for you and crucially for them, they're not going to want to do it and it's going to become a negative thing and we don't want to start having negative associations with toileting. Keep it fun, keep it light, if there's an accident, doesn't matter. That's it really, those are my little tips on early potty training if it is something you want to explore and as I said at the beginning, I don't know if it's going to work, let's see, but it's an experiment that I'm having fun doing. I'll keep you posted and thanks for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if it's something you're trying or maybe you've done elimination communication and maybe I should be doing that. But yeah, share your thoughts on potties and toilets and all of that fun stuff below and I will see you next time, bye!